Hey nerds, coming to you today with another short tutorial. I just learned about this this week. I did not know this could even work, but I use iPhone. I use my iPhone. I have multiple iPhones. I have iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro and I have some older iPhones. And all of the images that come out of iPhone are H-E-I-C images, right? Okay, so when I'm trying to work on them in Windows, I have to convert them. Well, there's all these different converters that you have available. And honestly, I really don't like most of them. So I was trying to find a way that I could convert them in bulk and very efficiently. Well, enter Affinity Photo 2 or maybe Affinity Photo. Actually, I should see if Affinity Photo does it too. Let me go here. Let's see if Affinity Photo will do it as well. It looks like it will. So we're gonna cancel that. Okay, so this works in both Affinity Photo and Infinity, Affinity Photo 2. What you wanna do, and this is so easy and so fast, I can't believe I didn't know about this sooner. So you're gonna to go to File and New Batch Job. You're then gonna click Add and you're gonna locate where your photos are that you want to pull from. I'm gonna select all of these because this is the thing about it is it's so fast. It's gonna load them up here. It takes just a second for them to load and that will depend to, as well on how fast your computer is. Over here on the new batch job, you're gonna click save as JPEG or whatever type of file that you want. Unclick save as AF photo. I don't wanna create a, a working version of this. I just wanna convert them from a HEIC to a JPEG. I'm not gonna do any type of metadata or anything like that. I just wanna make a real quick conversion. I'm gonna click OK and watch what happens over here on the left. Watch how fast, bam, 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 bam. Just like that, and it's done. It does, that's all you need to do. You don't even have to open them up. Now watch, look at what happens. Of course, they're still loading up on mine. Look at what happens now. I'm gonna sort by, I'm gonna group by the type. So here's all my HEIC files and here's all my JPEG files. Look at how great this turns out too. I mean, they're actually really, really good. These are my tomatoes from this past year. Some close-ups I was experimenting with the camera and they just turned out absolutely wonderful. So this is one of the best ways that I have found to convert HEIC to JPEG in a flash. And this is just a small portion I have done larger and it, it's very, very fast. And of course it will depend on your computer. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Just wanted to share this quick tutorial. Have a great one.